Hi, I'm Gavin Lang and this is the 2017 First Light Guiding Peru Expedition. We're in the Santa Cruz Valley. Behind me here is the beautiful Alpamayo. We're going to have another attempt at it tomorrow. But before we do, let's have a look at some of the adventures we've had in the Yashinka Valley just last week. I think that clarity and focus, it comes from being out in the mountains and, and having objectives that are completely different from, from day job objectives. I think it also necessarily there's, there's less communication with the rest of the world and so that's a way of making life simpler. Uh, you think, how, am I, how are they going to manage without me, how am I going to manage without them, but in fact everyone manages just fine. I had been climbing in the Himalaya a long time ago in 1980 and I liked the idea of going back and doing some overseas climbing, preferably somewhere I hadn't been before, so the Cordillera Blanca, in fact South America, the Andes, I've never been here before, and something that wasn't a big mission, something that was more tailored with several objectives and small group, one-on-one -on -one is great, and just an opportunity to explore a new area and climb objectives that feel feel right and that's exactly what Gavin offered so that worked out beautifully. When it gets a bit uneven I tend to go a bit fast. Then I get the dry heaves and then I know it's time to ease back a bit. But we're only, oh, less than 50 metres from the summit now, um, and it's looking really good. Hey, we're on the summit of Urus Este, 5,350 metres. And as you can see, the weather's changing. It just started snowing, and we only caught the sun briefly this morning. So we're going to be here for about a minute before we head down. Of a rough start. I had the dry heaves for the first couple of hours but they seem to have settled down now and we've just popped out into the sun and it's just one of those perfect times to be in the mountains where everything's beautiful and there's sunlight sparkling on the facets of the snow crystals and we're looking across at Rang Rapalka uh, and then up here is Ashinka. On the oh. summit of Ishinka. All right, Ishinka. How do you feel? I feel really, really good to not have to go any higher. Oh, yep. Good. Had to dig deep to get up the last couple of hundred meters. Yep. But there's something about stepping on top that's really, really, really good. And here we are. So you're saying you didn't have fun all the way up here, every yeah. step? A minute or two there. A minute or two. A minute or two of fun or a minute or two of pain? <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the ratio inverts quite rapidly as soon as you get to the top. Ah, yeah. Yep. Type yep. two fun. Yeah, okay. type two fun. Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right. Well done. Yep, you too. Okay, this is our fourth day based in the Ashinka Valley very very windy morning, um, blustery morning so we've been busy packing up so it's been kind of wearing doing everything in the wind but now that we're setting off walking the wind's dropped a bit and so feeling good, fairly heavy loads, mine's not too bad, I bet Gavin's is a real stinker.
especially the last 300 meters were pretty tough. Um, last time I broke 6,000 meters, I was, I was 23, and now I'm 60. I can still do it. But it was hard work. Anyway, we're here. It's fantastic to be here. Here we are. So we had two 60 meter ropes and did a big long ab sail, a bit of farting around getting everything ready, but it's always cool watching guides because they know what to do um, when things get complicated. It's um, clouded, it's been blowing continuously, uh, clouds blown in, it's very cold. Um, yeah, so it would be nice to get down where it's warm. When I'm actually in the moment, I'm not scared at all. You know, it doesn't matter if it's steep or stepping across big crevasses or looking down a big drop. It's just focusing on what you have to do, which is basically focusing on each step. When you're actually confronting it, it feels different because it's real, it's hard, it's tough. When you're anticipating it, you're anticipating the high points, but when you're actually doing it, you've got to dig in every step of the way. and. That's what always creeps up on me. My enthusiasm is always somewhat ahead of reality, but when the reality bites, I seem to be able to do it. The one thing I know that I can always do is I can always put one foot in front of the other and I can always keep going, no matter how tired I am. Um, it's, it's not... I mean, if it's a question of physical energy, but um, then it just simply becomes a question of mental energy and just having to always dig for more of that mental energy. But there's, it never runs out, which is good. That's what I have to hang on to. How are we going? Good. Well, we can see up a mile, but it's getting dark. We'll, uh, we'll get some ground views tomorrow. Yep. Hands are completely gone, frozen. I feel like I'm climbing painfully slowly. I well, won't stop it. And he's 30 meters away. Made it. It's a little bit windy, but pretty comfortable. A usual story focus, focus, focus. But here we are! Here we, we are! It. We made it! Good work. Yeah, good work, good work. Woohoo! Oh, good work.
highlight was probably the second to last pitch, just realising, you know, it kind of goes up and round the corner and into this tight little narrow groove. And on that second to last pitch, realising that we were nearly there and it was really, really going to happen.